I'm back here taking a look at another intelligent robot vacuum. As you can see, it does come with its own base station. This is the EcoVet DBot T10 Omni. The robot vacuum itself does have all your typical kind of features you see nowadays, but a few extras. So LiDAR mapping, that's pretty standard of course nowadays for accurate mapping, but a time of flight camera here at the front. Also a video camera that we can log in and you can have two-way conversations via its microphone and built-in speaker. It's got its own assistant too with it, voice assistant you can issue commands to, Google Assistant and Alexa support, and 5000 PA suction performance. It can run for up to 150 minutes. Now the mopping feature of this particular robot vacuum, well it applies 6 newtons of pressure, so it's scrubbing, and 180 revolutions per minute. Once it's done, it's mop, it's cleaning and everything, it will go back into our Omni station right here where it scrubs, rinses, cleans out those mops, and it will even dry them. Now it does have this dust compartment here, so the dustbin will empty out from the dustbin within the robot vacuum. This is a three liter capacity, and it will last, they say Ecovax, for up to 75 days without you having to then remove this and throw it in the rubbish bin. The tanks, so we have a 4 litre dirty water tank and then a 4 litre clean tank. So inside the box you'll find our two mops right here. They're using microfiber cloths and these are attached by very strong Velcro there. So you can pull them off, easily clean those or throw them into the washing machine. Power cable, paperwork, we have our little tool there for cleaning the main brush. And then the two side brushes there. And our DBOT X1E Omni right here, we've got the mops installed so it's in the mopping and vacuuming mode and as soon as I remove them, which by the way is very easy to do, you just pull them up and you see when I take out the last one there'll be an audio prompt. The mode. Just told me that it switched over to the vacuuming mode and installing them, very easy too because of the magnets that hold it into place. Now these mops, they do... The vacuum mode. Okay, it's gone over to the vacuum and mopping mode. So they spin around 180 times per minute scrubbing the floor. This is our main brush which is suspended to adjust to different carpet and floor levels which is good to see. And then we do have a couple of lint brushes there. Now to remove it, very easy, just push on those two tabs together like that. That part comes out. Now you notice at the top that it does have this tower. This is for their LiDAR mapping. Now they've got True Mapping 2.0 that they do call it. So it's time of flight sensors, the camera at the front, and then the LiDAR laser mapping. Now this tower where the sensor spins around in there, it's sealed, which is a good thing. That means no hair is going to get stuck in there and eventually cause it to stop or jam. And there are three microphones at the top here. This is for their Yiko AI voice assistant. So you can issue commands to it and you can also get it to do things like go and mop certain areas, tell it where to go. And there is built in Elixir, Google Assistant and their Ecovax application, which I will show you later on. They can easily access the dustbin that is inside here, just need to pull this up. So there are some magnets you'll see on the underside that hold this lid into place. That's where you'll find the power switch, the Wi-Fi reset button, and the QR code for this robot vacuum. Removing the dustbin is very easy. Now, if you do have their all-in-one Omni station, then it's going to be emptying this automatically anyway. It goes into that main dustbin, which I'll show you soon with the station, but you can just pull this out. So there's just this little lever here with a little handle that you pull on, it unlocks it, and then it does come right out. Now we have a three-stage filter with this particular model here. It's washable, of course. So you see we've got the first stage, which is this part here, this mesh, and then if you pull this part open, you can remove that now. We do have a little foam here that's filtering again, and then just behind that, that is our washable filter for it. Now at the back you can see the mops, they are applying quite a bit of pressure to the ground there as they spin around 180 times a minute. We've got our charging contact points right there, infrared sensor, this is when it docks into the Omni station and it sucks the contents out of the dustbin from the robot vacuum into the station from here. And then the Omni station, it's rather large as you can see here and this does everything. So it is going to clean those mops, it's automatic and it does have the auto empty dustbin. Now the capacity of this dustbin is 3 litres and that's up to 75 days of dirt and debris but of course that depends on your household. If you have a lot of people, a lot of pets, 
and a lot of people long here, then it will be less than that, of course. So we have our map right here and you can see the areas that it has cleaned from the previous run when you've done that. Our different cleaning modes, so you've got a custom cleaning mode, so you can set a certain area, for example, like I just want this area of the kitchen to be done, you can then send off the robot vacuum to do that. Auto clean will just do everything, it's general, and if you've got the mops on it, it's in the mopping mode. If you take the mops off, it is in the normal sweeping and vacuuming mode too with it. Now it does detect the carpets and it will not when it's mopping go over the carpets the mats in the mopping mode so that is good and we have an area clean too so you can decide to certain rooms that it has labeled you can customize that yourself through this which is our map management so we have here three different uh, maps that you can in total edit and you can even look at the 3d map view by just tapping here so it will take a few seconds to generate that 3d map and it will even show up things like your dining table, chairs, appliances, and other bits and pieces. You can add that to, you can see from here to customize it. Now you can set up a virtual boundary, no go zones, all of that uh, is possible too with the application. Now under the settings of our cleaning, you can set it here to be customized, the amount of times you want to clean and vacuum performance right up to the max plus, which is the 5,000 PA of suction performance. Mopping mode, so standard or deep. Deep will, of course, take a little longer. Mopping only if you don't want it to vacuum in at all. And corner deep cleaning. It has this option too as well that it can do that once a week. Your cleaning schedule there and other settings like the volume language too. Now, I'll just quickly run into this. So there are even more options. You have your eco voice assistant, of course. Cleaning log, accessories. It tells you when things are starting to wear out when you should change the main brush, the side brushes, pretty standard there too. So cleaning log, you can see all that information. I have used it now 17 times, almost up to three hours. And you can even log into this and take a look, for example, at some of those cleans like this one. Uh, this is one of the deep cleans that I first did. That took 53 minutes, but I got it to do, I think everything twice there. And you can see that result, which is good. You can log in and see this information and you have do not disturbed their smart cleaning and a lot of other things. So it's a fully featured application with pretty much everything you can think of is in here, which is great. Now when the vacuum is doing its thing, cleaning the mops in here, it will rinse them out, it will suck out all that dirty water, it will flush and wet them, and when it's finished, it will end up drying those mops. Now you can set the interval with the application, depending on how dirty your house is, to go back and clean the mops, rinse them and wet them, every five, 10, or 15 minutes. Now, when it does its thing in here, you hear a bit of gurgling sounds like a, a coffee machine. You know those old coffee machines with the, the glass underneath it that captures all the coffee? Well, it sounds a little bit like that. But then when it sucks out the contents of the dustbin into the three liter dustbin right here, it is pretty loud. It's like turning on a normal vacuum cleaner. So here is a sample of that and what you can expect. <sighs> And then our vacuum itself, I'll give you a sample now of what it's like when it's in the standard vacuum mode. And then you'll hear me switch it over into the max plus mode, which is the 5,000 PA maximum suction, suction performance. The DBOT T10 Omni has then done a really good job of mapping out the house. So what it will do is go around the edges of rooms first, and it's using the LiDAR accurate mapping, and then we have the time of flight front facing camera two assisting it with the other camera there. Now it will go, of course, a round table and chairs. That's not a problem. It will go into some areas. As long as it can fit underneath them, it will clean them like beds. Go under a bed, clean that, which is really handy and we have been impressed with its general vacuuming performance and mopping performance in those kind of scenarios. Now, I did want to do a very hard mopping test, and that's just taking it a level above what you would normally find on floors, is I mixed up some coffee with some dirt and a little bit of water, and then I spread and smeared it on top of my white tiles. I let it sit there for an hour so it dried on, and then let the DBOT T10 Omni at it. 
Now on the second pass, you can see it didn't get everything. And this didn't surprise me. This was a very stubborn caked on stain. And there's just that strip there in the middle that it wasn't able to lift up. So if you've got anything that's sitting on the floor for a long time, some stubborn dirt or stains, it's kind of caked on, baked on, then it won't be able to lift that. But it's six newtons of pressure it applies and your general scrubbing for maintenance of your floors will keep them looking really good. So the house has been looking great, the white tiled floors especially. And then the vacuuming performance, testing out the 5000 PA on my little test sample mat here. I laid down some hair, so both cat hair, human hair, uh, there was some cereal in there, dust, dirt, all that kind of stuff. And it did an excellent job thanks to the fact that it's got the powerful 5000 PA suction performance, and then the bristles on the main brush lift up all of that here. So it did a really good job. And on closer inspection, yes, it did leave just two little bits. That's all I could really see that were left behind. So not bad at all. So for its cleaning performance, it does come really highly recommended. But what about its built-in then AI obstacle avoidance? I tested that out, of course. So with a shoe, a toy, and a cable, uh, it did well avoiding the shoe going around it, not even really getting that close to it. With the toy, it would avoid it. So anything that's sitting up high, it would see. Now, I do love the fact that you can log in and you can use a live camera stream from this to look around your house, look at your pets, and even do a little patrol mode, which we did when we went away. I got it to take some photos around the house and have a look, which is just a nice thing. I thought I probably wouldn't use that, but it's peace of mind to log into your house and see that nothing's happened and everything is Fine there. So there we go. That is the EcoVax DBOT T10 Omni. Thank you so much for watching my review.